Hello, my name is Delian and in this video I will show you one cool tip of making a leader when fishing with frogs. This is the new Savage Gear 3D Walk Frog and the first tip I will give you is to make your frog walk better. Trim the legs but, uh, but trim it in a way that you leave one, leg, one uh, leg longer and one shorter and this way you will get a much better walking action. But the tip I want to give you is when fishing around a lot of pike and if you fish a frog you want to fish it close to cover, over the cover and if you use like standard pike leaders with snaps and swivels and all that stuff it will grab all the debris on the surface. So you want as clean as possible a leader as you can get away with. So I've come up with one a knot or rather connection to the, it could be, I will, I will show you with this frog, but it could be used to connect a snap or any other lure. Uh, and also very, very good for Texas rigging, so when creating Texas rig for pike fishing. So it's like a modified TG, I believe the name is not, so it's a tuna knot which I've sort of adapted for my pike fishing and it works very well, it's super strong and it's very very small, it, it doesn't catch debris and it's super simple to tie. So let me show you. So first thing you do, so this frog is beaten up quite a bit after a whole days of fishing. So first thing you do, the, the material I like to build my, build my litter is the Blood 49. So it's a Teflon coated wire, it's very soft and it's very strong, so it's, it's, it's the only leader I will use when frog fishing. So how do you do this knot? It's quite simple. So you make a little loop, like so. So you have a loop. And then you make another loop, so you, you, you double your line, like so. So now you've created the double loop. And now all you do, tighten it up a bit, make sure it's even, all, the, the both loops are approximately the same. And then with the tag end, you just run it through the both loops twice. One, two. And then, so now you have like so. And then you just make sure you, you snug it tight. So as you will see, this is a perfectly small almost non-existent connection of your pike leader to your lure. Frog connected this way will not catch any debris, grass, weeds, algae, anything on the surface, but still it's toothless. This same connection I use nowadays with all my uh, uh, fishing when using the Teflon coated wire. So I, I will use this knot also for creating Texas rig, or, but also for like just tying it to the snap and then to the bigger lures. So this is the, I will call it modified TG knot because I really don't know the name of this knot. And then on the, on the other end, for fishing with frogs, I will use 60 pound uh, silencer and I will use just a simple, I mean simple, if you know how to tie it, then it's simple FG knot. So you just take your line, wrap it around 20 times, 15, 20 times, like so. And then you just make sure it doesn't tie off. fits perfectly. I will do it again. So two times I will make it sort of just the the, the triple overhang knot but the, the point of it is just to make sure that this FG knot doesn't untie. So you cut off all the excess things and here we go. So your 3D walking frog is ready to go to the nastiest cover and if a big pike grabs it, it will not cut off. So here we go, the, the blood TG FG knot connection to fish your walking or popping frogs. 